Hey everybody, I'm Matt Finish, and welcome back to the Terraria Dwarf Challenge playthrough. So here we are, still in the jungle. We're going to go a little bit further in, do a lot more exploring, and try and deal with these hornets. There's so many. Try and get around them. Kill all them hornets. What I'm looking for is jungle temples and underground ho houses. Basically, because that's where all the good stuff is. That's not the only thing I'm looking for. There's a particular part of the biome that's different from everything else, and that's what I'm looking for. Obviously, veterans will know what I'm talking about, but I'm trying to keep it uh, secret. I'm trying to keep it secret for uh, all the new people. Let them enjoy it. All right. Get on up here. Anything in there? Well, there's a jungle shrine. Let's go that way. Smashy. Okay. Ooh, gave me a stinger. Now, you figure these bees would not, like, want to go near water, but... They do. Alright. I'll at least get up here before I put a torch up. Come on. There we go. Much better. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and do the old-fashioned, tried-and-true digging through a wall. Making my own tunnel. It's not as fast, but, you know, in the long run, it becomes efficient. As I slow it down all of a sudden. Okay. What do we got? Ooh, feral claws. Nice. Silver bars, recall potions, silver coins, and a honey dispenser. Ooh, we're going to find some honey. And then, ooh, there's another knife, life crystal down here. I'm going to go for it. Sorry if you guys can't see some of this stuff. I can try and adjust the gamma make it brighter for you if, if it's not bright or if it's too dark for you guys let me know all right this is why we do this deposit oh look at all this room that just showed up That's why it's great to have that guy with you. Otherwise, you gotta have some wood planks and a piggy bank with you. Jackpot. I'll finish my first thought. You have to place it on the wooden platforms and place the piggy bank on top of the wooden platforms because you can't put it on the floor for some weird reason. And uh, that's the only way you could store stuff and move on. But with the money trough, you can put him anywhere because he flies. It's awesome. And you only get money troughs through the blood moon. And they only drop off of dripplers, which are those floating uh, goop balls, and blood zombies. So, just for anybody future reference. Now let's deal with this. I gotta be careful, because every time I cut through here, bees are gonna spawn. See? But, there's honey. And the honey gives you regenerative property. And this is what I'm looking for. Woohoo. All right. In particular, what we're looking for is this thing right here. You can't really see it, but it is a... Uh, basically, it's a queen that's in a cocoon type or encased in something. All right. So here's what we're going to do. When I grab this mahogany, I'm glad I got this stuff. We're going to make a couple things here. First, we're going to make one of these. Ooh, I can make an ultra bright? Hmm. Not yet. We're going to make one of these. We're going to throw it down here. We're going to need the regeneration. And we're going to go down. Come on. We're going to go down here. 
We're gonna make these nothing but platforms. I'm gonna show you why. We're gonna make all these platforms. Because we are gonna fight a boss here. And we're gonna fight it today. Now, in fact. I'm going to carve this out a little bit. Because I need a little bit more room to dodge. Alright. I'm going to cut this part real quick because this is going to be a little lengthy just because the honey... Honey's great. It revives you, it keeps you alive, but it slows you down. So... I also got to be careful I don't drown this thing because I'm afraid if I do it'll break. We don't want it to break yet because that means our boss will come. Alright. So I'm going to finish this up real quick. Going to do a small cut and then we're going to get back to it. Okay, we're back. Uh, this is... We're going to eat our foe that we bought from the Traveling Merchant last time we saw him. It's going to give us a well-fed buff for 14 minutes. Minor improvement to all stats. We need that. We're going to have the life regen from this. We're going to have the life regen from this. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and put a little platform. Oh, where'd it go? Right here. So I can hopefully get in and out here real quick. Oh, boy. Here we go. Queen B. Three. Two. Here we go. Hey! Oh, you dodged my grenade. Didn't dodge that one. Haha. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. You coming up above me? You coming up above me? No, not really, but perfect where I, right where I want you. Come on. Stay there. I'm just going to keep blowing you up. Now, I want this boss to die for very particular reason. Uh, actually gives me a weapon I can use. Or allows me to craft a weapon I can use. Come on. Boss is poisoning me, but not taking my uh, my grenades too well. I'm critting like crazy. You see these? 150, 160? Oops. Got to heal. Come on. Doing everything I can. Got the melee of those things. Ugh. Got a little bit of double jump room here. That's what I need. Come on. My arcs are so bad. Now this... This challenge might be easier for other people because they don't have to worry about... It. <laughs> they don't have to worry about... Uh, lobbing grenades horribly like me. Alright. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we got the queen bee down. This is what the queen bee gave us. Bee wax, which you need to make the bee armor and weapons. The bee's knees. Uh, if you have wood arrows, I'm going to show this off. I'm not, I'm not using this to attack. I'm using this to show off. Instead of firing wooden arrows, you fire bees. This, this bow is awesome. <laughs> I don't care what level of game you're, gameplay you're at. When you fire bees out of a bow, that's pretty cool. Uh, bottled honey, that actually heals us. Actually heals us better than this. So, we're done with that. At least for now. We got a bee shirt if we really wanted to wear it, but we don't. And this is what I'm looking for. Bee nades. Basically, I throw one of these, it explodes, and turns into a bunch of bees. Now, it has obviously lower throwing damage, but it's got a homing aspect to it that's really worth it. So, wow, I was not expecting to find her so quickly. I wasn't expecting to beat her so quickly. She is one of the easier bosses in the game. But even then, man. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go bowling for uh, snatchers here. Come on. Oh, nope. Come on. Yep. You died too. There's one more. 
Come on. There you go. Face your fate. All right. Let's do a little more exploring while we're down here in the jungle. I mean, we're here. Let's see if we can get some more life fruit. We need at least one more life fruit. I'm sorry, that's for hard mode people. Life crystals. We need more life crystals. You do find them down here. Along with all these bees. Or hornets. I'm sorry. We killed the bee. And I'm pretty sure... Uh, you know... I got a feeling I'm going to need plenty more hive... Uh, bricks here in order to make my bee nades. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to chop this place up. I will be back with you. I'm going to keep that campfire too. So I'm going to cut here. We'll come back and we'll do some more exploring. Okay. All right. Okay. We're back. Uh, kind of just cutting around here. Kind of messing around, and I accidentally dug a little too deep on one side of the, the hive, and uh, exposed the world. So, we're going to go ahead and jump down here. This hammer is way better than I thought it would be. It's just slow. Come on. Ooh, there's another jungle temple right down there. That's pretty good. Oops. I uh, totally meant to do that. And you can't tell me otherwise. Well, I'm sure you can, but... You know, just... Just don't. Did I see something down here? I saw another jungle temple right there. You can see the little tip-tops right there. Okay. I don't want to drown myself while I'm looking at this treasure, so we're just going to do this. And I'm not going to throw away this uh, mud brick because... Or mud blocks, I should say. Because it will come in handy later on in the world. Oh my goodness. Yes! A staff of regrowth. That's totally cool. Uh, what staff of regrowth does is it allows... Oh, I want this torch. Okay. Uh, it allows you to uh, harvest up... Uh, stuff from your planter box and uh, get seeds like every time. That's very useful. Throw that there. We're gonna work our way down. Oh, look! Wow, there's so many near near each other. It's awesome. See up. And Ahiram is throwing a party while I'm not home. Parents, don't you wish you had this power? just know when your kids are throwing a party when you're not there. Come on, die, die, die. No, 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 don't, don't kill me. Oh boy, okay. Things are getting a little dicey. Let's throw that up so you guys can see. Because I can see. I'm, I'm getting adjusted over here. Ooh, an inklet of the wind. Hmm. I said no speed boosts. Dang it, that's awesome. Ah. Well, I mean, I said no. I said no. The only... Only spoo bus we're gonna get. What if Because I said the only speed bus were gonna be from potions and from like sunflowers. But what if I change it to no boots? See that's the nice thing about having your own challenge is you get to change it on the fly if you need to. Oh, I'm out of torches. Do I have anything to make torches with? Kinda. 
Bam. Get up here. Bam. We have 15 more torches. We're just gonna rip right through them too. Why is there always gotta be one of these guys? <laughs> Why is the snatcher gotta be right where I'm trying to go? Oh, oh, oh get away, get away! Yeah, that's right, back up. Ha! Huh. Kogi Gi, the witch doctor. That's an interesting guy. Ooh, another staff of regrowth. Well, we'll take them both. Alright. We are running out of space and we are running out of uh, equipment to further explore. We haven't even found an undead house. Undead house. Man, you gotta watch out about them undead houses. They're everywhere. words that come out of my mouth sometimes. The underground house, I meant. That was a nice shot. That was a pretty cool shot, too. Oh, look at me. I'm awesome. Okay. I'm gonna kill this last hornet. If he drops a bezoar. Oh. Oh, if he drops a... Uh, okay. You all saw it. I saw it. We're going for it. In the water. There's a life crystal. It's the one we need. So that next episode, we can do something amazing. Got our last life crystal. Let's run over here. Looks like there's something chasing me. Probably is. Oh, something chasing me. There's something over here, though. Ooh, another hive. Well, that's pretty cool. Most of my worlds lately have only been having, like, one hive, if I'm lucky. Alright, well, let's, we got 15 of these recall potions. Let's take one of these. Everyone's throwing a party. Who's got, who's got the confetti? Who's got the confetti? You got the confetti? No. You got the confetti? Who's got the confetti? Is it Ahiram? Let's go visit Ahiram. Man, ain't nobody got no confetti. Ugh. Alright. Let's do this. 300. We're gonna stack a bunch of stuff. Well, I'm going to. I'm gonna stack a bunch of things, put them all away. I'm going to, uh... Quick stack my money. Oh, man. It's, I'm going to spend time doing this. I'm going to take care of all this. But uh, when we come to the next episode, we're going to do two things. And I'm, I'm focusing on these. We're going to go visit that area I pointed out before on the right hand of the world with the uh, little underground line, vertical line, this thing. We're going to visit this, and then we're going to jump right over, and we're going to visit this. And this is going to be epic. Because what that means is we're getting close. Closer than I thought we were ever going to get. Well, since we're here, it doesn't matter which one I use. I'm use the forceful. Boom. Look at all them seeds. Tons of seeds. You don't normally get that many seeds. We can load that up. -doo -doo -doo. That's how we do it. Oh, and there's a bunker. I meant to I meant to use the staff of regrowth on. Oh well. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit like. Uh, if you want to know more about what I got coming down in the future, go ahead and hit that like uh, subscribe button. Hit the like button and the subscribe button and hit all the buttons. Just all the buttons. Just don't break anything. Alright guys. Uh Sorry, this one's a little short. Uh, things got a little disjointed uh, on my on my end, so timing's a little off for me. So I do apologize about that. But uh, we'll have more to do in the next video, I promise. Later. <laughs>